Kaiser. Dancing around and then is going to go down at about the 17 yard line. Much question where the ball was going to go, was there? <laughs> no. Grenade! Second and 15. Play fake. Kaiser. Looking. Looking. And goes down at the 16 yard line, courtesy of TJ Watt. Some type of five man pressure. It's third and seven. Ivory was back there. Brought down by Watt. At the 25. This offense, they haven't handled the blitz very well. And they see a lot of it in over 50% of the snaps. Third and three. And there's a sack turned in by that Pittsburgh. Go five wide here. Hunley under pressure. Look out from behind. Look out from ahead. And down he goes to the 12-yard line. T.J. White. With some help from his friends, will get the sack. Have to get out of bounds. Blacko dancing away. Chase down he goes, and the ball pops out of bounds. T.J. White gets him from behind. Head coach since taking over before last season. Kaiser. White giving chase, and what a play by the rookie. Getting Kaiser around the shoestrings from the back. It's a loss of one. For the Cleveland Browns, and Taylor to throw. Under pressure, and he goes down at about the three. And out of the pack comes T.J. Watt. Consider that's two negative things. Now you have the kickoff return, but you have the penalty to move it back. And now you, you try and throw it on first down, and big hit that Tyrod Taylor takes as Fells is attempting to block T.J. Watt. Attempting was a good way to put the eight passing yards today. Taylor running out of time, and he goes down again. Once again, T.J. Watt. 180! It's still Carlos Hyde in the back, backfield, and Taylor on the move. And he's going to run it out of bounds. Freeman did play in the earlier series. Bryant goes down again. Second sack of the game for the Steelers. And T.J. Watt has his fourth sack of the year. To get through and find that ball, Cody Sensabaugh just couldn't get a path clear to Calvin Ridley. Pickup of seven. Ryan's in trouble. And he's going to get sacked back at the 24. T.J. Watt. Thanks, Kurt. That's amazing. What a surprise. Tennessee has been playing so well. The ball is out. Steelers have it. Kicked around in the end zone. Is it recovered in time for a touchdown Pittsburgh? Yes, it is. L.J. Ford. Great awareness by Ford. And this is Watt, who has had an outstanding game. Unbelievable Boy, like afternoon. J.J. Watt. Yeah, right? One of the best offensive lines in football. Cleveland trails 23-12. to Mayfield is sacked. T.J. Watt continues to run rough shot against the Browns. Not in a real big rush just yet. <laughs> Whoop. Newton gets hit. Ball is out. McCaffrey able to get back on top of it as T.J. Watt came in and laid the hit on Cam Newton. Wow. Nine. Well, T.J. Watt, he's not even blocked. And, and to, to Cam Newton's front side, I, I'm really not quite certain how you don't feel that coming. I mean, it's right to his front side there, even though he's working off to his left. And he had gone, if he... Third and 12 back at the 24. And the ball's on the ground. And Parnell was there to get a T.J. Watt on the cover. They knew what they were doing, after all. Absolute Hail Mary. Uh, you can't Hail Mary. you got to throw a screen. Ball on the ground, recovered by Pittsburgh. And this Anthony Ciccolo has come in for him. Here's a second and nine. And they get Brady for the first time. It's T.J. Watt. You want to know why you're not throwing at Gronk and why Brady's getting it? Because these two guys are doubling him pretty consistently in the middle of the field. Brady's got to look, and then he's going to throw somewhere else. But this pass rush is getting there. 
in less than two seconds, and Brady. We're waiting. What's that? And they get to him for the first time today. Cam Hayward and T.J. Watt. Third down and nine. Bernard was in, stripped of the ball by Watt. And recovered by Driscoll. Back at the 11. T.J. Watt with another. Seahawks empty the backfield. They must get to the 36 for a first down. Wilson is taken down. T.J. Watt coming through with the sack. Here's number 90. His defensive tackle is going to push up the field, and he's just going to fold inside. If you're going to hold the ball at all against this Pittsburgh defense, get ready to take some shots. Two great defensive stands by either defense to start this game. Everyone knows the protection. Dalton had to do everything he could just to hold on to that football that time with T.J. Watt and Stephon Tuitt crashing home. Third sack of the night for the Steelers. How will they respond to what Pittsburgh has been able to do? Dalton pressure and raining down on him is T.J. Watt. Fifth sack of the night for the Steelers. Yeah, that's a major weapon out of the arsenal right now for Baltimore. Second and seven. Jackson in the pocket, turns into the pressure. And it's T.J. Watt who is trying to rip the ball away. Another sack for Watt. They are not out of anything yet. It's Fitzpatrick, the deep safety here as Rivers looks yeah, one way. Yeah. And then gets collected by a trio of white shirts. Trailing by 10. And Fitzpatrick goes down and it's T.J. Watt. And they're claiming they got the football. Steelers do! Second and ten. Battered again by Watt. And they're saying he was down there. Second and eleven for Indianapolis. Hoyer is sacked! Back at the 36. Second and 16 for Indianapolis. Hoyer in the pocket. Hoyer is dumped. T.J. Watt. Week in, week out. Goff is sacked. As soon as he landed on his back foot, the pocket collapsed and will give T.J. Watt the credit. No timeouts. Ball is out. The pressure on Goff. Rams got it back. Another fumble. T.J. Watt forced that fumble, and he's been a force all afternoon. Yeah, well, Brady just tweeted that he turned off Thursday Night Football. <laughs> Mayfield gets sacked, and it's Watt. T.J. Watt got there in a loss of four. Well, they put Farrell Brown out here at tight end, 86, and uh, he just... You know, is blocking him and then goes out, but I'm not sure exactly, you know, how do you expect to keep TJ Watt? And now it's different, especially on the left side. Finley looking to throw. Watt's coming. Finley loses the football. TJ Watt the sack. And the Bengals have recovered. Giovanni Bernard fell on it. Baker Mayfield improved play in the month of November, and we now have hit December. Mayfield is sacked. T.J. Watt. Who makes mistakes? And mistake one goes to the Steelers. Running back is Frank Gore. Play fake. Allen under pressure. He's going to go down. A trio of black shirts are there for the sack. Two timeouts remaining. 36 seconds left first half. Darnold. Oh, didn't see the defender coming, and he loses the ball. T.J. Watt, a splash play for Pittsburgh. Yeah, he did it again, didn't he? Using a lot of clock. Griffin is sacked. Lost his footing a bit on the wet surface. Mike Hilton gets to the quarterback, and it's fourth down for Baltimore. 
Driscoll under pressure, going to go down inside the 25-yard line. On second and ten, here come the Steelers again. Oh, goodness. Driscoll never had a chance. He goes down at his own 32-yard line. The charge led by T.J. Watt. Got to come away with a touchdown. Gordon in the backfield. Driscoll going to throw. Throw it away. Throw it away. Pulls it down. Oh. Goes down at the 10-yard line. Cannot take a sack on first and goal. You cannot do that. They're going to need it because Deshaun Watson has some magic in him. Rush coming. And good night. T.J. Watt gets to the quarterback. Hurry, too. This did not take him long at all. Goes right inside. Darren Fells, the tight end, is supposed to chip him. He's supposed to get over there and at least, you know, bump him off his route. He doesn't, he's not able to step down fast enough because T.J. Watt's first step off the line of scrimmage is so quick. Love your screen. Third down and 10. Wentz looking on third down. Again, can't find anyone, and down he goes. Games where they've had to rally in the fourth quarter. Play fake. Tannehill is dumped at the 19-yard line by T.J. Watt. How about that call? There's three in a row for the run. I mean, that's a tough stretch you're going to have in the NFL this year. Second and goal. And, oh. You're getting this ball out of your hands. Has to get to the 49. It's fourth and eight. Hayward's on him. Hayward's not going to let him go. And Watt finishes it off. The best teams right now in the AFC North are the ones that have success running the football and playing good defense. Third down and 12 for Burrow and the Bengals. Burrow in trouble. Down he goes. Back at the 33-yard line. Empty backfield. Burrow on first down. Under pressure. Down he goes. Second sack for T.J. Watt. But it's really Minka Fitzpatrick. Watch how he robs this route that Joe Burrow is looking at. He's looking over there, and he wants it. He couldn't get it, so he had to look off, and then T.J. Watt, again, complimentary defense. If you are going to hold the football, you are going to get sacked. That, that's just, that's a fact. He had a chance to run with the first team, but other than that, not a lot of opportunity. Third and four, he hits, and he gets hit, and will go down. Next to the 27-yard line, but Dupree, Cameron Hayward. Among those around the quarterback because he was trying to climb the pocket and it's another three and out for the Ravens Brings Devin Duvernay back in motion the other way look at what coming what get him TJ with sack 10 on the season Blitz coming Smith standing in in trouble and dropped Second sack tonight for the Steelers. It's the league leader, T.J. Watt. A.J. Green, bottom of your screen. Finley in big trouble. He has dropped back at the 19-yard line. Watt is in there along with Alex Highsmith. Looked like might have got a piece of the face mask on Finley. And now Rivers is knocked down by Watt. Only took the second snap for Watt, the league's leading sack artist. 80, cut. Now here's River. Watch behind him. The ball is on the ground. Picked up by the Steelers, Hilton. Tackled by Taylor at the three. Just when they needed a spark, the Steeler defense comes up with one. Always better than what people think. Now it's third and 13. Allen steps up. Allen hit from behind. T.J. Watt, the ball is free. Loose football. Steelers believe they got it. The word on the field is a fumble. Recovered by the defense. Cameron Hayward on the recovery. Look at Watt, number 90. He didn't feel like he played very well against Darrell Williams last year. 188 passing yards and a touchdown. Flag is down. Allen is dumped by T.J. Watt. <laughs> and Watt saying, don't take the flag, give me the sack. They will stack receivers go, go. off to the right of Carr. Fake the handoff, rush coming. Carr is engulfed, and he coughs it up. A fumble on the strip by Watt. You do a lot of it, too, and they're doing a good job spelling them a lot, too. 
Here's second and goal. Rodgers falls, trying to get out of traffic. Got tripped up. Here's what happens, okay? If you leave him out here and this safety comes down, he's getting the ball. And if not, you're silly. Set it up. He was trying to go long to Adams. Chase it around. And he'll cut his losses at the 40. Go! Third and four. Steelers bring in five. In trouble. What? Brings him down. players in all of football. Your running back here releases in the route instead of helping your tackle. Brandon Shell on the outside and you pay the price. Highest paid defensive player in the league. He is playing. Still in net score wins mode. Maybe the last time your offense sees the ball. Geno Smith will drop deep. He'll pump. He'll take it. Lost the football. Knocked out by one. Recovered by Devin Bush who circles the right way. He almost lost the ball. But he's got it at the 16. And the Smith fumble forced by the defensive star T.J. Watt. Of the entire state of, of Washington on the outside. They had five guys on his side. He circles all the way back around the whole thing and punches it out. Third and goal. Looking left. Now in trouble. In traffic. He's taken down. Back at the 13. And quickly back to his feet. But Hayward able to combine with Watt. Hands spilling in for him. And he has been in there a couple of games. Like Pack went out and again Mayfield runs into TJ Watt, the last guy he wanted to see. Loss of five. Oh. Fields out of the gun. Got a piece of him, not enough, but now he's dragged down. Back at the 42. Who else? TJ Watt for the Steelers. Second down and eight. Pressure, didn't see it. Watt got there. T.J. Watt, second sack of the night. Quarterback knowing what's happening on the edge, Lewis. You have to know what's back there as a quarterback before you take that snap and come on a naked bootleg. Yeah, and Mike Tomlin talked about this and Keith Butler, the defensive coordinator. How are you going to play the backside rusher against boot action? Are you going to have him come down the line of scrimmage or have him continue to climb? He was rushed for Fields wanted to run the whole time, and he was taken down. T.J. Watt, his third sack of the night. Goff, he is going to be sacked. And there's T.J. Watt, 12 and a half sacks this year. He can take a sack once in a while. That's okay. They're in line, you know, all these things. They're not going to be great every year. Second and five, and he's in trouble now. They got him for a second sack. It's T.J. Watt. Is, and that's the number one seed in the AFC. Yeah, it just doesn't make sense. And I got a question for you after this play. Second and eight. Got a hand on him. Oh, and they were able to double team and Watt comes over to finish it off. It was Warmly who got to him first. He's having a big day. Duvernay shifting around. Jackson looks him off. And Watt has hold of him. And he'll not let him go any further. Sacks him at the 20. But that timeout's going to be more key going on. You got to get rid of this ball when they keep coming after you here, Lamar. Second and 10. They're on him. And the ball comes out. It's running to the sideline. It'll be Baltimore retaining possession. Stripped away by T.J. Watt. But the flags will check those. You don't. If not, you fake it. You move around. And then you just throw it. Something in the back of the end zone. Tannehill. He has the time. And finally... They get to him back at the 15, and it's T.J. Watt and Greg Hayward. He comes back. He stays over here. He comes down. Here's a third and 13. Watt coming after him, and he is sacked back at the 18. By the tight end, 86. He gets out of his stance late. Ferkser, and he actually hurts the tackle. Ready, go, go. T.J. Watt swings him around and brings him down. The NFL sack leader. Pressure. 
pressure from the Steelers. Mayfield in trouble. He's going to be taken down. Who else but T.J. Watt? Third and seven. Pressure right up the middle. Mayfield is flushed, and he'll slide down back at the line of scrimmage. Montrevious Adams was running him down, fourth down. I'm not trying to be, you know, disrespectful with Kevin Stefanski, who I like a lot. He is a... Uh, oof. There's T.J. Watt. That's... And wow. there's sack number four for Watt. Sacks in a game since Joey Porter 20 years ago. This, I mean, this is why you're not throwing the ball down the field. Yeah, well, I mean, are you going to give Dame, Dame Hudson, a rookie, some help? Yeah. Against the guy who's one of the baddest pass rushers. Cleveland, the rookie out of Georgia, 66, is the best baller at guard. Left side. Hundley holds, steps up. Hundley sacks TJ Watt. And a motion man is boy. Burrow steps up and he's dumped. TJ Watt got a running start. Lost his helmet. For them, it's really about taking away the deep ball and the big ball from offenses. Nowhere to go for Burrow. That's Alex Highsmith. Will be in there, a rookie out of Texas AM on the line. Third and nine. Brown crumbling pocket down. He goes. What? At the 12. This is a 30 10. Hubbard under pressure, and he's going to go down. That's TJ Watt. Against this wide receiver core, and it looks as if they're doing the same thing on this play. Darnold looking several ways, and he can't get rid of it. He goes down just inside the 15 yard line. He went in, asked for it to have it done, and man, has he been a different player. He's out. Gus Edwards is in. Yeah. He's got T.J. Watt. There's a reason why Tom Brady steps up in the pocket. He looks like he was shot out of a cannon around the end of this line of scrimmage, and it was just no question. And T.J. was telling us the other day that, you know, it's bizarre, but for the first time, I'm starting to feel whole again. Ready, go. Watson can't get away and goes down. Back at the 39-yard line, T.J. Watt, Cameron Hayward, the two big guns on defense. Second and seven, Pittsburgh brings an extra man. Purdy can't get away from T.J. Watt. The ball came out and Watts got it. Brock Purdy is squeezing it from behind to his back. It is out right now. And watch this. He's going to reach around and pull it to his back. From the 46, Purdy drilled and drops. T.J. Watt, second time today that he gets home. Brock Purdy really sharp today. Pressure from behind and sacked. Whoa, the ball came out. It was Watt that got there again. And he's got the ball. This is a huge play because you just had a punt return. You're back in Pittsburgh territory again to start your drive. And again, Colton McKivitz is going to have to go one-on-one -on -one out there First sometimes, and that's his favorite Face side. Mask. Offense number 74. That penalty will be added to the dead ball spot. It'll be first down for Pittsburgh. Watson in trouble. There he is, T.J. Watt. He is now the Steelers franchise all-time leader in that category all by himself. Well, you see how he's able to just bend and get around the edge.